This afternoon I've been messing around building a little um, brick rocket stove out of a few bricks I had in the backyard. <clears throat> As you can see I've already built the base. I've been playing with it for a while. I've used it. I took it apart and want to rebuild it for you. As you can see it takes three full bricks and a half brick to build the base. Fairly simple to make. Then to make the next layer you start out with a half brick and three full bricks. Okay. You now have the next layer. Take 16 bricks overall and you just keep putting them together. You can see it's real simple. You don't have to use any cement. You don't have to stand them and just put them up tight so they're tight. Touch them so there's not too much of an air leak in them. Just go ahead and overlap this so that they don't fall down too easy. And there's another one. Now, you notice there's two bricks above the fire opening. I experimented with two bricks and three bricks, but I finally decided on that two was best. Now I'll make a quick little fire in it. It's real easy to start. I'm going to start out by using a military, an old military heat tab I had, just to speed it up today. Like that and push it in there. Throw a few dry leaves on top. Start just sliding the smaller pieces in. And you notice I quite rapidly have a little fire going here. I've been able to use this quite effectively. I was playing with it here for a while this morning. That'll catch and burn now. I just go ahead and put this across the top. This is a vent off a house I had laid around. Put my pan on top of it so that it uh, allow some airflow to come up through here. And I now have a working stove and you can see it from the time I've started to the time I finished is what, probably a minute and a half, two minutes. Very, very simple. Uh, I've been real pleased. It heats up water well. It works kind of like a Dakota fire hole. Your airflow is into here and out the top. Doesn't create a lot of smoke. It uh, works quite efficiently. Thank you.